think we think we'll be able to shoot too. I don't know where bending down how much we can maybe try to get of that that underneath part. Let me try to open this up here while you're doing that too. Show everybody how this works. And then of course these straps right here, you just undo this. These unzip. There's a nice toolbox. Uh, built in the Jeep that sits back in here that carries all your different supplies, uh, your fire extinguisher, and the rear seats. It's got your backup lights and more stuff than you'll ever possibly imagine as they've done to this Jeep. Uh, can you try to take a shot from here underneath and see how much if anything we can actually get up underneath there? Maybe you could put the camera right up on and just try to shoot it around for a minute. This here shuts and locks just like that, puts it back up easy, and just puts that up and it's completely locked. Your jack and Every possible thing, uh, just to start with, I guess, there's a, an equalizer, a custom-built equalizer here. Uh, your iPod navigation system, if one desired. Of course, it's got your front and rear, both lockers. It's got a built 700R4 tranny. Uh, I don't know, my goodness. You'll just have to try to maybe show them some pictures around custom seats. The rear seats were custom made for the back of this Jeep as well. Uh, it does have another seat that I've got that's exactly the same uh, seat or materials, if you will, as the fronts. It's just that it's a bench. And it's got your five-point uh, harness. It's got a nice CB in it. The, the floor and everything of the Jeep has all been, uh, what do they call this, Dan? Uh, so, it looks like a bed liner, a Herculiner kind of thing. Yeah, it looks like a bed liner, but it's not. It was all uh, sanded and done on the inside. I'm not sure what the package or what they call it. <laughs> but uh, Let's get a shot of the door, stainless steel door panels or aluminum door panels. And stuff. Yeah, it's got a real nice sounding system in it. Stereo, it's got a couple speakers. I don't even know what they are. I guess one's like a, a bass or treble or whatever. I don't know. And uh, it's just unbelievable. Maybe you get some shots down the sides. Is there any way you're going to be able to get like those lines and stuff? Can you maybe like hold the camera here and just kind of run it through there? I don't know how much you can do. You know what? Probably got close to, I'm going to get between 11,500 to 12,000. All custom. Everything in this thing is all custom installed. It's got a stainless chrome uh, radiator. It's got your. Did you show them the compressors over here? Yes. It's got your ABS or ABR compressor. It's also got a custom compressor that will run your air conditioner off into your, this thing right here, you can show on this line to where you can air anything up. Uh, custom battery box, the way it was put in. I can't begin to even tell somebody all the stuff that's been done to this Jeep. It's, uh, it's truly amazing, that's all I can tell you. Uh, with the exception of the Jeep body itself, there's not a lot on this thing that's even cheap. It's all customized 
stuff except for the body of the Jeep. Yeah, yeah. see how much you can get. The worn winch and all work. Uh, yeah, stuff underneath it that had been done. Maybe you could kind of elaborate on it or whatever. I don't even know all the stuff. It's got so much stuff under there to spend. That's the deal. Get a side shot of that. I'm going to shut this down real quick and let you do your. <coughs> you, you say you did get this side. Well, you probably did. Yeah. Now, the Jeep itself, so people know then. Let me see if I can see. The, the motor's got, like I say, roughly 11.5. The whole Jeep, since it was completely done and completely built, has got 4,980. Since everything was completely done on the Jeep. That's the exact mileage of the Jeep. I'll have to get it from the other side because I can't see it. Okay. Real well. And you got the customized roll bar and all the stuff fairly good. Yeah, and, yep. I don't even know what to say. Uh, let me say this though, so we can see the front of the door. there's been a lot of Jeeps that I've bought in the last few years and all, they all say, oh, this is the very nicest anywhere, there's nothing like this. Well, I'm going to be real, real candid right now. I have seen <coughs> nothing that has compared to this Jeep. Out of all the hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of Jeeps I have looked at, there is not one Jeep that has even come close to compare to this. Period. And I'm just going to state that for the record of the fact, and I have it. If you want to, let's hop into it, and let's just drive it, maybe pause it for All a minute. Right. We on? Yeah. Uh, customized dash, again, the uh, front and rear ABR lockers, and uh, it will drive and go like you never could imagine uh, if you was daring enough to take it. I've done nothing but pampered. I, I'm so scared to damage or to hurt this Jeep that I very seldom even drive this thing around town. It's just amazing I, uh, the condition and what it is. You'll never replace this thing ever if something happened to it. But you can show them the gear right here. We'll take a little drive. I, it, in one of my storage units where everything's locked down, but uh, I guess it won't hurt to, to drive this around in the snow for a minute. I haven't taken it. I don't drive it in the snow at all. Uh, I just don't want to get it wet or potentially damage anything. It can't rust all the uh, undercoating and everything that's been done to it. And let me say this, I, it's got disc brakes all the way around. I hope, I hope that you guys will come up and have a chance to see and drive this in person. It's, it's incredible. The ride that you get, most Jeeps are wobbly and bumpy and everything. I swear to you. I don't know what it is. You can go down the road in this thing 65 to 40. doesn't matter what speed you drive. And it's just as smooth and as nice as you can possibly imagine. There's no sway. There's no... I don't know, guys. I've seen a lot. been around a lot of Jeeps. I've got four of them. Unfortunately, I have to sell due to uh, some financial reasons. But... Uh, uh, is this a type of safe console? Yeah, uh, I, all I can tell you is if nothing can get stole out of that unless you're taking the whole thing with you. It's pretty much impossible to get that thing out. So they come in real handy, they're real nice. Three point harnesses? Five point. Five point harnesses too. Yeah, five point custom harnesses. But a uh, lot of power, it's got a great shift kit in it, it's all uh, custom built, tranny. Uh, I wished I could take credit for it and say that I did all this, I can't. I wished I could take credit for everything, uh, or at least part of it, I can't. Uh, but I hope you guys know what you're doing out there, because I'm telling you, in all the hundreds and hundreds of Jeeps I've looked at over the years, there is nothing 
So when everybody says they've got the nicest, the most unique, well, I'm telling you, they didn't have it because it sits right here. This is it. I promise you. Uh, so there's a little quick drive. Didn't even, don't think I even got out of first gear, but uh, it's got a ton of power. If you get on it, it's so much fun. It'll sit you right back in the seat, just pull you hard. But of course, with that transmission, that engine is going to do that. Uh, again, as you can see, hardly anything in here is Jeep. It's pretty much all custom uh, done and made. So, do we have pictures on just like still pictures to put in, or do we have to still get some still no, pictures? We'll get still pictures. How much time on the video do we have? Uh, can you tell by just probably about another minute and a half or so. Is that it? Yep. Yeah. Uh, let's take some pictures. Look, why don't you stop for me? Let's take some pictures with the close ones down the sides and stuff, and so people can kind of really see what they're looking at as far as the body and stuff goes. Okay. The undercarriage is by all means just as nice and as clean. The whole frame is perfect. It's all been sandblasted, treated, everything. Hopefully some of these pictures that we've got will tell you a little bit about it. Uh, but again, everything from the, 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 the top, uh, I don't know if I missed anything. Uh, all I can say is I hope you guys will come down. If anybody's interested, you better come down and look at this thing. And uh, don't be afraid to put all the money in the world because I'm telling you, if I have to sell this thing, you guys better be willing to pay what this thing is worth because you will not find stuff like this anywhere. Uh, again, it's a 1985, uh, I don't think I mentioned that, 85 CJ7. Uh, that's 100% perfect. I would jump in the Jeep and head clear across the country. Let me reiterate, clear across the country right now. From here to New York to anywhere, I would not be afraid of in a second to jump in that thing. It is ready to go, period. Can you hear that running right now? Do you think they can hear that? Yeah. I mean, it runs just like a sewing machine. It runs so darn freaking smooth and nice. It's just perfect. So there you go. I think our video is about ready to run out here uh, anytime. But uh, don't be afraid. I promise you, you'll be uh, very, very impressed. So don't be afraid to bid. Bid with every bit of confidence you've got. So I'm going to go back and rev it up once or twice so they can hear the exhaust and what it sounds like. Maybe. Yep, I'll be back here and they'll be able to hear. We're ready. Hopefully they can hear that a little bit. And it's got all customized stuff. Again, your jack. I just didn't want to pull this. All your, <coughs> all your lights to everything. I don't even know. I hate to do this, guys. I, you don't know how bad I hate to do this. This is my pride and joy out of everything I've got, and I don't even drive it because I'm scared something's going to happen to it. So, uh, there you go. Uh, I hope whoever buys this can appreciate it for whatever it is. Get insurance on it. Uh, I tell you, once you see it, you're going to want to get insurance. I promise you that. So, that's probably about it. Probably, you can, you can film me yeah. pulling her back in. Yeah, we got enough time for that, so. Yeah. Anyways, back in storage we go.